Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are completing our design series, and joining us today is designer and owner of Stage Detroit, Kristen Calvert. Without further ado, let's get Kristen on to join us. So, so we're going to talk about refreshing our home today, right? Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. And But before we get in, you have some exciting things that have been going on for you in Stage Detroit lately that I believe you're. it's okay for you to share? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Actually, we're going to, just a little bit. We've been doing okay. some, um, some staging for a national television show, but we're not actually allowed to say much more than that than okay. right now. All so right. It will be viewing at the end of the year. Okay. And, you know, we're doing the staging stuff. So we're yep. behind the scenes, but that's what we like to do. Yeah. We like to be behind the scenes and get everything pretty and beautiful and ready to go. Um, so it, it's exciting. It's exciting to see TV back here in Detroit yes. and just like showcasing our city and the surrounding areas in a way that's like, it's, it's more, it's beautiful, you know, and we love the city. We love where we live. And so I love seeing that these shows that are able to come here and do those kind of things. So that's awesome. That's exciting. Well, yes. And congratulations. And thank you. I know your schedule has been so busy. I appreciate you taking the time out to share some of your tips with our viewers. And um, so congratulations. And so refreshing our homes. I feel like, I mean, we get that, like the motivation at different points, right? That, oh, I need something mm -hmm. different with my home. But I feel that especially as we change seasons, we're finally yeah. like starting to come out of winter and heading into spring. And it's just like, okay, I need something different in my home. Right. So, so right. what, yep. what can we do? That's maybe not, you know, something, you know, if somebody doesn't want to do a huge remodel project, but still wants right. their home to feel refreshed. What, what can we do? You know what? I always say, start with the accessories of your home. And when I say accessories, I mean, like the little things that are out. And I, you, when I like to, like in my own home, I like to have those accessories be more of like a personal in nature. So nothing that's like, yeah, Target's great for some stuff, but let's bring stuff in that's actually useful and not cluttering up the space. Yeah. And so I have a few things that, um, that we've been doing in our own house. Okay. Because I have a house full of artists, right? Yeah. And so we have this like little, I don't know if you can see it, but I will yeah. show it to you. It's like a little Target box. Yeah, toolbox. from Target. Yep. Yep. And it's in um, the Magnolia section. And what I love doing is like having like just colored pencils out with, uh, you know, just paper. And my yeah. kids are like in their early 20s. Yeah. <laughs> and I have some great artwork around the house for free because I leave stuff out like this. That's you know, awesome. Um, pipe cleaners. I mean, I'm kind of a kid at heart anyway, so I could do a lot of things. And if you're really stressed out, this is a great little tool to have. Yeah. So I always say just a few new accessories. Um, okay. And I one have, that's really becoming popular are these ostrich feathers. Oh, those are pretty. I love that. They're color. really pretty. Yeah. You can get these in so many different colors. Like probably 20. And these are from Amazon. Okay. And I think I got 50 of these feathers for like $24. Wow. So yeah, that's a nice little color pop that you can add. Yeah. So I like this in like the bathrooms or yeah. something, you know, instead of something. And I don't really feel like, you know, if these don't last for like years and years, right. I don't really feel that bad about throwing them out. Right. <laughs> You know, recycling the birds um, can use them for their nest. Right. <laughs> exactly. I, yeah, right. They could use something like that. Yeah. I, you know, when you were mentioning, you know, the kids and their artwork, one of the things that I like to like, like I just put away my wintry, you know, stuff that was on my mantle and I pulled back out. Um, some of what I like to display is the kids pottery. Like, you know, they all yes. took that class in middle school, sometimes high school and, um, there's some really cool pieces, I think. And the color yeah. is awesome. And so I put those up on my mantle and they love it because they're proud that that's, you know, that that's out. But then um, it's just, I, I love it. So that's, that's something that I do as well. It just made me think of it when you said uh, letting your kids do some of the design. So, yeah. And, you know, I was thinking too, like, we want to make our, I always just say, 
you everybody should have a special place in their home right now mm -hmm. where they just feel like they can just step back. Mine is actually my wardrobe room at my in my house and it's really tiny, but it's yeah. cocoony. But I like to have all things that kind of just make me smile in those rooms. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it can be the strangest and weirdest things, but those things will give you just little moments through the day that are like cheerful. Like in my office right now, I have like a vintage Hawaiian hula a skirt. Yeah. And it means a lot to me because I bought that the day I found my warehouse here in Ferndale. And so to me, it reminds me of how far we've come. Yeah. And like, I think just setting up those things in every little area of your life, like in your car, have one little thing that's just like, ah, that's a special memory. Yeah. Instead of filling up our houses and our spaces with stuff that just doesn't, it's pretty, right? but it doesn't, Right. It doesn't bring any joy to the soul. Right. And that's the so, difference, right? Like if you're going to stage a home, putting some of those nondescript pretty items is great because, right. you know, anybody can picture themselves in that space. But when it's your space and your home, yes, I agree. I think that it just makes it feel so much more like home when it's, you know, your yeah. your personal effects and pictures and artwork. So, yeah. And it's your space and yes. it's not somebody else's. So right. like, don't be afraid of having that one pillow that means a lot to you. Might not look great in the room sometimes, but it's, it's great for you. So that's right. the whole difference between staging for sale and stage in like just living your life. And so right now, refreshing our homes is really, I think, important because yes. we're spending more time in these homes. I think yes. we're noticing. Yes, so, we are. So I think one other area to refresh your home is to start thinking about what you're going to do outside your home this summer, this spring and summer. It's a great time to like, if you need to have your, your spring, your bed, your beds cleaned out, good time to call the landscaper to bring them out because they are so busy this yes. year, yes. weeks out. So that's great. And one thing that I've been doing the last couple of years, I'm not great at it, but it's, it's easy is planting wildflower gardens. Oh. And so you have fresh flowers you know usually it starts around june but we'll go right into october i love using those i cut them off snip them off and i bring them to my local coffee shop if i have an abundance of it right but it's something that we can give something from our soul to somebody else oh, that's and nice. i think that's what refreshing our home is being able to refresh ourselves and refresh those around you who like make your life feel important yes. so those wildflower gardens are awesome. The seeds, they're really easy to do too. Like you can't, well, you can do one Like even if you don't have overseed. green thumbs, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. You don't even have to water them, but just don't overseed. That's what okay. I did last year. And I got one plant that kept growing up and I didn't want any more of those. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like, it is a give and take, but you don't have to do much. Yes. Oh, I love that. Oh, we got some comments. So cute. Love this from Sarah Maria. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> So yes, no, so I do. Nice. I do like that. Uh, I, I love that idea actually of being able to have enough flowers. You know, you're you're specifically growing some to cut. Whether you're putting them in your home, you're giving them away. But um, definitely, I think that's a nice way to just you know put something, put some good out there. So exactly, I did. The, I started yeah. doing this two years ago when we moved to Detroit because I didn't know anybody. Like I know yeah. the people and the store people in. D in Lake Orion. Right. You know, I've known them for years. I right. love the people there, but I needed them to know who I was. And the first time I started giving out these little bouquets, like literally at the one coffee shop, they're like, what, what am I doing? What? Yeah. I'm like, you just put it in a little Mason jar. Yeah. <laughs> and then I brought them to them. And then they, now they are like, Oh, we like your flowers. Yeah. But they're just little ones. Yeah. I just a little something. A little bit of paper towel yeah yeah so I think oh. it's a good way of just spreading just a little joy and it doesn't cost that much and it's not something that will go into a landfill because I'm always talking right. about how do we go green how do right. we like make sure we're not putting extra things into our landfills or putting things that are you know producing things we just don't need right um and so I always feel like flowers is you know and is one of those things that we can do Absolutely. I love that. I love that. I'm going to have yeah. to go uh, purchase some wildflower seeds now. So <laughs> I'll, I'll put it, I'll, I'll text you. I'll put it in here. I'll, the okay. ones that we really like. To yeah, get. that would be you great. You actually have to buy them early. Okay. Last year they sold out a little bit. So oh, okay. They're nothing so, really yeah. special. Give us the scoop. Give us the scoop. I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So what else? Any other, any other tips for refreshing our homes? 
you know, Wait. one thing we've been looking at is updating our lighting. Okay. Um, and this is something that will transition into if you want to sell your home in a few years. Mm -hmm. I know you're seeing this that like, you know, a lot of these uh, colonials that were built maybe in the 90s, early 2000s, all the way up to 2010 have very similar chandelier lighting mm -hmm. or overhead lighting. But just taking the time to maybe slowly replacing a lot of those yeah. those pieces um, with some updated ones maybe more transitional in nature and not traditional. Right. Um, one that I, I really love and it's very inexpensive is this woven rattan one from Ikea. I mean, of all okay. places, it's an Ikea one. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I love Ikea stuff. So yes. I think that you they, just have to make sure you get the right light bulbs. <laughs> yes. The right light bulbs or the right um, shades. Like, <laughs> fixtures. Yeah. Because I've done that a couple of times where you have to go back for a $3 part. <laughs> right. Yes. And Ikea doesn't right. have everything in stock these right. days, but I think like, like getting and starting to slowly yeah. transition some of your light fixtures um, is really a great way to go. And if you really just don't know what you're looking for, you know, like looking through like a West Elm or, um, you know, some of those, you know, more larger, like, you know, businesses yeah. looking at what's going on there, I think really will help you in design style. You don't necessarily need a higher designer to do that. Right. What does, what do you like? You exactly. Know? Um, yeah. Finding yeah. what you like. And, and I will say, yes, I agree that changing the lighting makes such a difference, not only from a real estate perspective, when you walk through the home, you know, a buyer may not, may not always realize like, Ooh, the lighting, but there's just a, a feeling, you know, when it's updated and it's fresh, but I can tell you from my own home, yeah. I updated the lighting in my kitchen last year. And yes. the light fixture that I have over my kitchen table now, I love it. Like, it makes me happy when I see it. Yes. I'm like, why did I keep that other one for 10 years? <laughs> 10 years. I didn't, I, I never really liked it, but it was a good light and it worked and I'm very practical. So I, you know, right. I never swapped it out. But now I'm starting to shop for lights in different parts of the home. Um, because I, yes. what a difference it makes just in the feeling I get when yeah. I, when I'm in not only that room, I can see it from the hallway, from, from other parts of the house as well. So exactly. And you know, yeah. another thing I learned a couple of years ago is getting like the dimmable light bulbs or the dimmable lights, Yes, especially for your overhead lights, mm -hmm. being able to like slowly dim those lights during the evening hours can kind of just calm it just calms my dogs yeah. down let's just oh, put it that way it calms my dogs yeah they know once it starts going down that it's dinner time then it's like their medicine time which right. is our treaty treat time in our house yeah but it's just like this this natural reflection of what we're doing in the evening and I just feel like that's really a, a good way to like to light your home in a right way and I think something to do with like your kitchen light if that's where you're reading magazines or opening your mail, making sure that it has a really good direct like light for you. And as I don't know, as you're get, as I'm getting older, yeah. I've had to transition <laughs> into, you know, some different type of lenses so that I can read. Right. But I found that changing light out and having more like on my desk, I have a task light now mm -hmm. that will shine directly on paperwork and anything that is you know, if it's a magazine, it's shinier. So I want a light bulb that doesn't like reflect off of it. Right. And those are those little things that just make your life just a tiny bit easier during the day. And it's, it's inexpensive to do. It's just taking the time to do it. Right. So, right. And yeah. I, and just you know, making it, putting it on the list and making it a priority and just doing it. But yeah, some of these small changes really do make such a big difference. So lighting, yeah. don't, don't underestimate not only the fixture, but like you said, the, you know, a room, if it's not bright enough at sometimes, you know, sometime during the day, or, you know, if it's too bright, it, it does make a difference it's all in the mood and how you feel. And so, yeah. I know. Great. And I think what I, we were just trying to like reflect on from the things that kind of make you like trip over things, not like literally tripping over things, but those things that just make life just a little bit difficult, try to just change that schedule up of what you need to do next. And yeah. I think, and that was another thing I was talking about and I put on is to declutter our homes. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I have more kids in my back in my home than I thought I would have <laughs> at this age. And right. I love it. No yeah. complaints. But what we've been doing, I've been bringing back, oh my gosh, the little kid decluttering days. 
and where I have like these baskets, the baskets. in my house, mm-hmm. the baskets. Yes. Now they're not laundry baskets anymore because those don't, those don't reflect any joy, but <laughs> I have these all around my house and I put all the kids stuff in one. So I don't necessarily have to see the clutter out on the dining room table, even yes. though that's where our clutter is now, but I'll have these. And then I have, I love these wire basket ones oh, too, Yes, mm-hmm. because if I you like throw that. shoes in here, at least if they're a little damp and you put it on top of like, you know, a boot tray, I feel like, yeah, maybe the other shoes are getting a little wet, but they're not all over my floors. Right. It looks and you can much throw them in nicer. There. Don't underestimate. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. How... So we have these yeah. all over. That's great. And um, we're getting, so... we're getting comments. Sarah Marie says that she's analyzing all of her lighting now. So now yeah. that now you're going to be putting all of your things in bins. So <laughs> no, I, I do the same thing. My teenage son, you know, he likes to use the family room as like kind of his hangout and then there will yeah. be the stuff. So I have a basket that, you know, if he is looking for something, he's like, where did this go? He knows to go look in the basket because that's where I just put it all just so that it's all together out of the way keeps, because I know that I feel better in a space when it is picked up and decluttered. Now I'm not like, Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. um, But sometimes just spending those five minutes just, you know, and it does, it feels like a new room. Yep. I know. And you know, the other thing is just finding those spaces where how can you contain the clutter until you can get to it? Right. So like for my, for my closet during the week, I don't worry about rehanging everything up the whole week, but I have a spot where I can drape it over something. And then on the weekend, Saturday, I'll just take 10, 15 minutes and just put everything back in. Yep. So it wasn't like I had to worry about it the whole week, but I also had a space for it so that when I could get back to it, and that's kind of what we wanted to do with um, my kids that are at home. I don't want to nag them about putting their shoes away every night. That's not the kind of environment we want to have in our home. It's, you know, I'm beyond that. Those days are gone. Parenting is more about like becoming your kids' friends a little bit more, and they're going to learn this on their own once they move out. Right. How to keep everything I up. feel like so, when it's their own space, then they have a new appreciation for, <laughs> for, exactly. you know, keeping things in a certain order, taking care of things. So yes, I, yeah. I agree. So I know what else, you know what, I guess changing out your art was my last thing for refreshing. Um, yeah. There's a lot of places online right now that you can have art printed out for you that speaks to you. Um, I don't know about you, but I, the excuse sounds silly, but I love Ted Lasso quotes. Like I will, Oh, you're having a bad day. Let me find a Ted Lasso quote for <laughs> you, you know? And we quote them all the time in our house. I mean, I've watched the series at least four times. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> but you can get those printed out and just have them in different areas of your home right now. Yeah. Just to like anything that makes, you know, brings you kind of that joy, but you don't have to be the artist to do that. Just search Ted Lasso quotes coffee quotes, you know, those yes. little things like that, you know, and just put them into a, uh, into a frame that you always have, you know, there you, you can just slip another Swap one it on. out. If, yes. Yeah. Start swapping out those things. You know, art can be um, one of those things that doesn't have to be around all the time, but we also, I also have artists that I like, I'm watching emerging artists and I'm also purchasing their like numbered prints right now. Oh. So you know, that's a way that I can afford to collect good art. Um, And so, you know, if you have an artist that you're watching and you're like, oh my gosh, their stuff, their original stuff is way more money than I can do that. Finding those times where they will do those, um, the the signed or sometimes they're signed original prints, but then you can have those framed and those are long-term things that you can keep too. So I'm not trying to be like, always have something changing, but right. there's ways of doing and collecting art that I find fascinating. Yes, so, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, Kristen. These are great tips. I yeah. think anybody watching can get some ideas on how they can do a few little things to their home and make it feel refreshed. And as we head into this spring season or anytime they feel inspired yeah. to uh, refresh their homes. So yeah. And for not a lot of money too, you know, exactly. Do it and then move on and use, um, use that time to be outside. I don't know about you, but I am ready. Today was not the day. It's very cold out. <laughs> I didn't it's, realize that, but I, 
I know the weather is like up and down. So (laughs) it's a little chilly today, but, um, I know. Well, thank you so much for having me on. I know know, you're a good friend of mine, but you're such a natural at this. I enjoy, um, talking with you. It seems like Uh we're just talking with a friend. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I always appreciate having you on and your input and, um, thank you. And thank you all for tuning in. Um, we'll Mm -hmm. see you next week on tea with Tracy. Thanks so much. Bye, Tracy. See ya. Bye, Kristen.